had signed up to a dating agency using a fake name. No, no, joking apart. The video he made when he joined is an extraordinary opportunity to see a psychopath in action. Although he was pretending to be a successful businessman and not letting on that he was only a year out of prison after an horrific rape, uh, the stuff he says provides a very good illustration of some of his psychopathic characteristics. What do you look for in a person what attracts you to Well, I think apart from the physical, side um, again I think somebody who's pleasant mm -hmm. somebody natural somebody with character mm -hmm. a little personality um, practical practical yes somebody just somebody normal um, somebody who's easy and relaxed to be with Canaan comes across here as totally at ease uh, with lying and misrepresentation this is not a man looking shifty or nervous. He does the gestures well, he gets the slightly self-deprecating aspects right. No, no, not at all. Um, I'm just looking now, I'm in a sedimentary period, yeah. where financially and career-wise I've achieved what I've wanted to achieve. Yeah. I'm just now looking for what the next thing to achieve. Mm -hmm. I think I told you that within a few weeks I should begin to Himalayas. Mm -hmm. um, yes, to the Himalayas. Mm -hmm. Uh, which for me would be my first major adventurous trip. Canaan was not going to the Himalayas, but on a week's package holiday in Crete. I think the deceit is an end in itself. He gets his kicks partly from presenting this false image and taking people in. There's also an underlying sadism that he has to control women and subjugate them. So this is a highly abnormal personality concealed beneath that glib, charming facade. Canaan still denies all the crimes against women for which he's been convicted. Now, he's never been formally diagnosed, but I think if he'd been given the psychopathy checklist, he would have scored very highly on it. Throughout the day, police with dogs have been combing over... In 1986, 25-year-old Susie Lamplew went missing. The abduction shocked the nation. It was both mysterious and horrific. John Canaan has long been the prime suspect in the unsolved case. Fulham estate agent Susie was simply showing a property to a client one lunchtime and was never seen again. There were clues, but police have never found a body. Detective Jim Dickey ran the reinvestigation into the case. There is a massive circumstantial evidence that I would say leads me to believe that John Canaan uh, abducted, or probably raped, and murdered Susie Lamplew. He's a man that doesn't care what he does to his victim. He has com wants complete control over them, and if he's rejected, he retorts to physical violence. John Canaan denies responsibility for Susie Lamplew's disappearance, and with no forensic evidence, there has been no prosecution. Canaan remains in prison. I genuinely believe John Canaan, should he be released to Mollet, uh, would be a risk to women. And I just hope the system is robust enough to realise that and keep him in. Psychiatrists and judges are gradually learning more about the psychopaths in our midst. They know that the more extreme their psychopathy, the more likely they are to reoffend. They know that this is not an illness that can be cured. But even convicted criminals can't all be locked up forever. And most psychopaths are not in prison. One person out of a hundred is a psychopath. When their masks of sanity are in place, they will never be noticed. Until perhaps one day, the mask cracks. Next time, we discover how psychopaths' love of power can destroy lives. Here we go with what's called a medical breakthrough. Whether they're superstars or ruling whole countries, or playing chicken with the entire global economy, we ask what happens when psychopaths are in charge. Next on Channel 5, racing to unearth a deadly...